purpose of this video is to review startup operations for the 3D Manberry Mixer. Before going to the platform, check the Watchman lubrication system to make sure that there's plenty of fuel, hydraulic high lubrication oil in the system. On the side of the day tank is the sight glass. Make sure that sight glass has oil in it to the proper level. Underneath is the pump crankcase. On the pump crankcase is a sight glass. Make sure that has oil in it. On the platform is a hydraulic pump system. On the bottom is a sight glass. Make sure there is enough hydraulic fluid in the tank. On the hydraulic unit are gauges. Once we start the mixer up, we will check those gauges. On the back, of the mixer is a Trayvon grease system. Make sure the grease reservoir has grease in it. There are also gauges on the back that we'll check once we start the machine. On the mixer are four buckets, two on the back and two on the front. These hold waste oil from the lubrication system. Make sure that these are not too full. If they are, they need to be emptied. These are the buckets on the front. Before going up to the operator panel, turn the water on. This is for the cooling system and the chiller. Make sure all the water lines are on, the supply side and the return side. All the water lines, supply and return, are now on. Once all these are checked, you can go up to the operator's platform. This is the operator box for the Banbury mixer. To start it up, apply power. You should have assorted displays. Batch temperature display will cycle through a software self-test. If you do not get lights in these display areas, you have a broke, you have an open circuit breaker. Do not, under any circumstance, open the operator box. It needs a key. Notify maintenance. They will come and reset the circuit breakers. Once the self-tests are complete, hit the green reset button. And check to see that you don't have any alarms. This is the lube alarm, hydraulic alarm, and grease alarm. If any of these are on when you power up, hit the fault reset button that is next to the reset button and that should clear any alarms. If they do not clear any, if that does not clear it, notify maintenance. Do not operate the mixer. Once all these things are set, hit the lube start, which will start the Watchman lubrication system. Hit the hydraulic start, which starts the hydraulic pump system. 
let it operate for a few seconds, and then you'll hear the pitch of the motor decrease when it gets to operating pressure. Once these two are on and you don't have any alarms, you can start the mixer. The display will show a percent of load on the motor. This is just batch temperature. And this is a batch timer. That's an elapsed time timer that you can reset here. The door is open, which the door should always be open when the unit's not operating. So anything that falls in the mixer will not stay in there when starting up. The last thing to check is air pressure on the air system that operates the ram and the door. Make sure you have pressure to operate. Close the door. Your indicator will point to close and your closed door should light. If at any time through this operation you receive an alarm, shut down power to the unit and notify maintenance.